Hundreds of people are mistakenly ordering fake Gymshark every single week. Unless you've designed this, I have not seen this before. Yeah, but Jimmy, that's what he said. What, Jim Shark? What's a shark? Oh my god! What the fuck's a shark? <laughs> Two completely different lengths. That's just not a good logo either. So these are fake camo leggings. Today, Lois and I have ordered some of this fake Jim Shark product and we are going to be having a look at it and showing you guys just how dangerous it is to order from some of these fake websites. As you can see by our lovely box here, we have some of this, well, it says Defo, not fake Gymshark, but yeah, this isn't what the Gymshark boxes normally look like. <laughs> so if we open this up, Lois, you can have a look at the first one. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. I feel like this is like... I've got no idea what to Something's expect. gonna just jump out. So a lot of these websites, what they will do, just so that you're aware, is they will essentially try their best to sort of clone the Gymshark website and it'll look very similar. Now there are sort of giveaways, right? So the URL bar at the top won't say gymshark.com, it'll say something else like, I don't know, sportsleggingsrandomword.com or something. So you do have to be super vigilant. And I, have, I do know people in the past that have thought they were ordering from Gymshark, had the product come, see how bad it is and try to return it and only then realize that it wasn't actually from Gymshark. The other thing as well that we should mention as we look at these products now, is we ordered some of this and completely different product ended up arriving. So. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see what's actually turned up. So, some very fake Whitney Simmons leggings. If you have the Whitney Simmons leggings, you can just tell instantly that these are not the real they're, deal. They're a bit stale and brittle, aren't they? Really? Yeah, the fabric's not. I mean, this is another thing with like ordering from these fake sites. You don't know what is actually in the product or how they've made it. Like, there could be toxic chemicals, the way that they've dyed it. They mm -hmm. could be like made in not very sustainable conditions or like ethical conditions. Now, if you're ordering from companies like this, mistakenly or not, they will not be adhering to any of these guidelines. So Lois's point, they will not be sustainable. So it's definitely something just to be thinking about as well if you are ordering from these sorts of websites. That's just not a good logo either. It's just I mean, gonna... That logo is gonna come off in Yeah, like 30 seconds. Well, there you go. It doesn't even look, it's not even like a copy, is it? It's just a completely different It's a completely different, different legging, yeah. So... With just that, like, I don't even, I don't think it's got like our branding on, like the Gymshark branding, but I mean, Whitney is our athlete and these are just not. They have not been, had anything to do with Whitney either, which is yeah. another thing. If you want to buy into the Whitney range, like Whitney has no idea that this even exists. And it's a shame, isn't it? Because Whitney's so hard working and obviously she's worked incredibly hard to build the brand and, you know, channels that she has. So for someone to be sort of ripping off her name like that, I think I'm sort of irritated on her behalf. Well, unless you've designed this, I have not <laughs> seen this before. This one of yours. I mean, do you know what? You can, you, you can say what you do. want. You can say what you want about these fakes. They're creative. <laughs> Look at him with these little dumbbells. I actually think we could. Like, this is crazy. They've really? spelt it wrong. They've spelt the name wrong. <laughs> they've actually got the font right, but they've they've spelt it wrong. Yeah, but Jimmy, that's what he says. What Jim Sharp? Do you reckon they've just never... Oh, that's so sad, isn't it? Oh, wow. I sort Aww. of feel sorry for them. You can have that one. <laughs> you know what a shark is, don't you? No, what's a shark? Oh, my God! What the fuck's a shark? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Tell me, then! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> right, I'm Googling it on Fab's laptop. I'm Googling it on Fab's laptop. It just says an instance of accidentally expelling feces when breaking wind. Ah, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> so these are fake camo leggings, which to be honest, a lot of people have faked these, haven't they? Which is a bit irritating. But yeah, like I mean, if anyone, everyone, every other brand, copycat brands doing this, this as well now. This the, is so the fabric sad. is so shit. So the thing is, so when we first launched the camo, it was, it was actually the most expensive legging I think we'd ever launched, wasn't it? But the quality was just beautiful and the amount of people that ended up just co coming back and ordering from Gymshark again and again and again because of how high quality the product was, was absolutely incredible. I mean, this is so sad just to see that because it is just, it's like the cheapest way of possibly making a product. And, and we put so much, I mean, you guys, right? You put so much love, care and attention into the, the design and build of the product. I guess to see someone take something that was, you know, at a time, the best product that we've made. Um, I mean, just like a, a look at the scrunch. Like, that's that's going to do nothing for no one. Like, it's it's basically flat, and I like it feels really flimsy. Like it's going to break. So, 
I mean, yeah, just the fabric. I wish you could feel the fabric because it just doesn't feel like our quality. It's, it's embarrassing. So this looks to me like a fake Lux. What was it, Lux? It's something like that. So this isn't even, this just looks like a random hoodie from anywhere. Yeah, so if you're, so this is another thing. If you're ordering from these sites that are claiming that they're Gymshark, they could, they could turn up like this and have zero branding on. The quality, again, is terrible. Like, the threads are coming apart. Yeah. Like, again, you, you just don't know where it's made. Like, all of this, oh. And, and again, like, they're selling it as a Gymshark product and it's come as... It's just nothing, is it? Yeah. We can't give you money back because we, like, we, you didn't buy them from us, but if you bought them from these brands, you can definitely can guarantee that you won't get your money back if you don't like the product. Oh, this one's got a word on it, at least. Whoa. This is intense. It's like a hockey jersey or something. It's like a sports thing. I mean, it's certainly not Gymshark, is it? Even like the, the label instructions, it's like cold machine wash, do not bleach, low tumble dry, warm iron, dry slap. Don't slap pandas, it says. Don't slap pandas. Well, I, I agree with that sentiment. Mm -hmm. And then this one, Jim Bark. Jim Bark, look at that. Oh my god, oh, it's a little... the fabric's making me cringe! They're just proper just rank, aren't they? They're just horrible. Thin as anything. Leggings. And these... These are actually come in a packet. They're the same, I think. Oh, look at the leg lengths there. If someone's oh wearing god, that... Oh my god, look, they're <laughs> two completely different lengths. If someone's wearing oh this god. in the gym, and another person sees it, and like they see how shit it is, it's like, well, I won't buy from Gymshark. It's like, no, it's yeah. not Gymshark. I mean, these, I could tell you now, are not going to be scrap proof. And we happen to take down so many of these websites, like, mm. all the time in-house. Like, we have, we have, like, a special team just working on solely taking down, like, these fake sites or these fake resellers, and they're just never-ending. So the other thing as well that is worth mentioning is when you're ordering from these websites, because they're completely unregulated, your details are not secure. So, you know, when you need to keep credit card details, addresses, emails and things like that completely secure, it's almost impossible to do that when you're ordering from these websites. So, as I've said, check the URL at the top, double, triple check and make sure that you are on Gymshark.com. If it's anything that isn't Gymshark.com, then it is not official. It is definitely a fake and a copy website and your, your, you know, your details are at risk if you're going to order from those websites. So, make sure you double, double and triple check in. Imagine if I walked into the lifting club wearing this. <laughs> Now I know what it is. <laughs> we shouldn't have told you. Noel would have me, wouldn't he? Noel would love that. This would make his day.